All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be comparing the Sawyer Mini with the regular Sawyer Squeeze. Now, I've seen a lot of people that started off with the Sawyer Squeeze, and then they bought the Sawyer Mini because it's smaller and more compact, and they always seem to go back to the Sawyer Squeeze, the larger version, because they say the flow rate is just so much better. So in today's video, I wanna go through and I wanna compare the weight and how different the flow rates actually are and see how these two compare side by side. So if you wanna learn more, stay tuned. All right, so I've had this Sawyer Mini for a long time. And uh, when I bought it, it came with a back, flush, a back flushing syringe so that you could uh, back flush all the contaminants and particles and everything out of it. Uh, it came with a little straw so that you could use it uh, as kind of like a life straw. So you could go straight to the water source and uh, stick this in there. Or you could put dirty water in a cup and drink straight out of it with the straw. And then it also came with a 16 ounce uh, water pouch. And so this is what you would put your contaminated water in. And then this either screws to the top so that you could drink straight out of it. Or you can squeeze the water from the pouch into a cup or a water bottle or whatever. And so that's what came with this. And I've been using this for a really long time. And I've been really happy with it. But I always see people going back to the standard Sawyer Squeeze. They like the bigger one better because they always say that the flow rate's better and that it just performs better. And so I purchased this and this actually came with a bunch of different things. It came with this uh, bag so that you can hang it. Uh, you can put the uh, included bags in here and hang it and uh, gravity filter your water. It came with a much larger straw. It came with Again, a back flush syringe. It came with two uh, 32 ounce pouches, water, water pouches. And then it came with a uh, adapter here so that you can turn your Sawyer Squeeze into an inline filter uh, for a, a water bladder. You can put this on the hose and so that as you're, you can put the dirty water in the, in the uh, water bladder and then as you're drinking it, it filters through the Sawyer. And so it comes with a lot more options than the uh, Sawyer Mini did, but it's also twice as expensive. This is about $20 for the Mini and this whole package here was about $40. And so, but you do get a lot for your money. I really like the bigger pouches too, compared to the 16 ounce pouches. Uh, I like the 32 and the fact that it comes with two is pretty awesome as well. And so I really like the package and all the extras that the Sawyer Squeeze comes with. I'm gonna put these back in here. And so when it comes to the weight, Let's weigh these real quick. We have the uh, Sawyer Mini coming in at 1.3 ounces. And then we have the Sawyer uh, Squeeze coming at 3.3 ounces. So it's exactly two ounces heavier, which isn't much. It's just a lot bigger and bulkier. It takes up a lot more room than the Sawyer Mini, but for weight, it's only two ounces, so I don't, that doesn't really bother me none. And then what we're gonna focus on next is how fast these filter. So we're gonna use the 16 ounce pouch, and then I'm going to put the Sawyer Mini on it, and we're gonna do a one minute test. We're gonna see how much water fills up this cup in one minute, and then we'll switch over to the Sawyer Squeeze, the big one, and then we'll fill up this cup for one minute, and we'll see how they compare. So let me get some water in the pouch. All right, so I will say that it's a lot easier to fill these pouches up in a sink than in the river, because in the river you have to scoop 
and try to get water in there where with the faucet you just turn it on and it fills right up but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a timer and uh, I'm gonna fill for one minute and then after it hits one minute I'm gonna stop and uh, then I'm gonna do the same thing with the Sawyer squeeze and we're gonna compare how much is in each cup so let's start Oops, here we go. So I'm just letting gravity do the work. I'm not squeezing at all. We're just going to see how these things gravity fill. Halfway there. You can see it's a pretty consistent stream of water. So five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay. Let's stop and reset this. So there was the Sawyer Mini. Now let's put on another thing that I want to mention is you have to run these a few times right out of the package. The flow rate on both of these wasn't very good. You have to use them a little bit before the uh, flow rate kind of builds up. So let's see here. We're going to start. You can see this stream is pretty consistent too. And again, I'm not squeezing. I'm just letting gravity do the work. It's almost twice as thick. The stream on the Sawyer squeeze is almost twice as big. So I want to say that it's going to fill twice as much just because the hole is twice the size. So a lot more water can flow through. Let's see. Should we fill the bag? Five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay. So now let's compare. You can see that the uh, Sawyer Mini is far less than the Sawyer Squeeze. I should have refilled the bag because having a fuller bag probably would have allowed the Sawyer Squeeze to perform just like the Mini did. So we're going to run the same test. But this time I'm going to use a full bag for each. So I already used a full bag for the... Here, we'll run the test again. Alright, so now that both these filters are kind of primed on that first test, we're going to run the same test. i got a full bag here. I'm going to open it, get it ready. Okay, ready, go. Yeah, this Sawyer, it's got a nice flow rate. The hole is twice the size of the Sawyer Mini. And you can tell that from the flow that's coming out of the end. So we're about halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one, done. 
So let's compare that to this one here. So there is actually more in the second run. So having a fuller bag definitely does make a difference. Or maybe it's just the fact that it's primed too. That can make a difference. So let's fill the bag up. We'll run the same test with the Sawyer Mini and we'll see how that compares. Okay, so we're putting the Sawyer Mini on. Making a mess. I got water everywhere. Start. Oh, this is definitely a much more consistent stream than the last time. It's a more consistent stream than the uh, Sawyer Squeeze too. And again, I'm running clean tap water through this and so there's no particles or contaminants or anything in this water so it should be its full potential, exactly what it can do full potential wise. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay, so now let's compare these two. There is more in this one too, so I wonder the first run probably cleaned out whatever was in there, and then the second run was probably more accurate. So now I have a picture here and we're going to compare the Sawyer Mini first run which is about four ounces exactly so let me get the camera and show you that so that was four ounces exactly now this isn't an exact perfect science I'm going to use the same picture so we have four ounces here the second run of the Sawyer Mini about five ounces so we got another ounce on the second run so let's show you that okay so we got an ounce difference from the two tests so we're looking at five ounces was the best run for the Sawyer Mini now the first run with the Sawyer Squeeze We are looking at about nine ounces. So there's a large difference there. So that's about double what the uh, Sawyer Mini's best run was. Okay, now let's look at the uh, second one here. Eleven ounces. So that's a huge difference. So as I predicted, it's about twice as much water. And the hole is about twice as big. And so it makes sense that it's flowing out twice as fast. Uh, I'm making a mess. I got water everywhere. But so when it comes to the Sawyer Mini versus the Sawyer Squeeze, uh, you're looking at two ounces more for the Sawyer Squeeze. 
uh, it's probably twice as big. So you got twice the size, two ounces more, but twice the flow rate. You're getting twice as much water uh, in a, the same amount of time as you are with the Sawyer Mini. And so if you're looking for compactability, the smallest package possible, uh, the Sawyer Mini is still a great option. You're looking at about five ounces uh, a minute with this. And with the Sawyer Squeeze, you're gonna, I'm gonna round it to 10. 10 ounces a minute with this. <clears throat> so a 32 ounce water bottle, you're looking at three minutes instead of six. So, and that's just letting gravity do the work. Of course, you can squeeze the pouches and get them to go much faster, but you're looking at about twice the flow rate. And so that's pretty substantial. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be swapping out my Sawyer Mini with the Sawyer Squeeze. One of the other things that I like about the Squeeze is I can set it up. This one has a, the end pokes out. So you can't set it up, so you always gotta have it here and then it tends to roll around. Where this I can set up nice and even. And uh, it's not exactly round, it's got ridges on it so it doesn't roll as much as the Sawyer Mini does. But it's just a little nitpick from there. I also like the uh, water bottle type end on the uh, Sawyer Squeeze compared to the little tiny opening here. This is more like a straw, where this is more like your standard water bottle, your sports water end here. And like I said, you can take that off if you do want to hook up your straw. You can take off this drinking tube here and you can hook up this here and then you can hook your straw up to it. So this is the little Sawyer mini straw or the larger straw. And then that way you can <clears throat> gravity feed from the pouch. So that's a really good option as well. So you can hang this in a tree or something and have the straw into your water bottle and then just gravity feed it that way. And so that's it's a really good option. It's a lot easier and then you can squeeze too. So you can squeeze the water out a lot faster. And then there's the rest of it. So you're looking at another 15 ounces so just in that little bit of little gravity and then me squeezing I got 15 ounces and that was with the uh, Sawyer squeeze I have water <laughs> everywhere Caroline's gonna be mad making a mess of her kitchen but with that being said I want to know which one of these filters would you carry do you like the small compact filter of the Sawyer mini or do you like the options and the uh, twice the filtering power of the standard Sawyer Squeeze? Let me know in that comment section. I had a lot of fun making this video. I was really curious about this. I knew it was going to be messy. I knew it was going to take a lot of time. But uh, I'm glad I know. I'm glad that I know the difference between the two. So make sure to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. Then make sure to like and share this video to help spread that knowledge and those ideas to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. I am soaked. <laughs>